what's up yola um if you haven't already um please like um subscribe to my channel i'm fairly new this is about my third um third youtube video um my journey's pretty new um if you haven't looked at my first video please look at my first vlog um i did a small mini um intro based on um, what it is that you could look to obtain from my channel. Um, things such as um, uh, projects that I work on, such as business, um, business ventures, auctions, um, traveling. I'm traveling soon next week. Um, and weight loss. Um, weight loss, um, relationships, um, stuff, um, etc. But this vlog is going to be based on weight loss because I will be doing a lot of um, uh, vlogs on my weight loss journey. I'm actually coming right back from the gym. Um, I go to the gym three times a week. Um, I used to go five times a week, but then I started doing an extensive um, boot camp. Um, where it's really extensive, really intense. And being that um, I'm someone that um, wasn't really into fitness, and now that I am, it's become a lifestyle for me. Um, um, I've um, learned to incorporate, you know, certain workouts, certain, you know, new modules into my uh, daily routine. So um, generally... Um, I get up at around 4.50 in the mornings um, to uh, go to the gym. So um, today was leg day. Um, I will be posting a clip right now so you can actually see um, uh, what it is that we worked on in class today. <laughs> time we have a session we work on um a different part of our body so uh, we might have like a you know the stomach core upper core etc um but overall it is very intense just because you see i'm dry face now um in the video as you can see like i am drenched like i can't wait to go inside and um take a shower um and um really relax and get ready for my day generally um i would uh just you know get my son ready for school and um head out for work but um pretty much um my weight loss journey started two years ago um i my highest weight was at 200 and i believe i was at to close to 270 pounds yeah 270 pounds um i was miserable i was in a really bad relationship i would say marriage per se um i entered something that i wasn't ready for um a lot of times um a lot of 
a lot of times as women, um, because, you know, we're getting older and we glamorize the idea of actually getting married, um, we just tend to just rush into things and think that things will just work out um, because as long as in that in that time frame I just had the mentality as long as God created marriage um that everything will just work out and um life hit me like a ton of bricks and um already I was I was large when I I mean I was plus size I was I was really big um when I was married, but even that, I'm not even going to say that, because I started gaining weight, um, I started gaining weight, really, in college, and then, um, I just kept on gaining weight, my freshman 30, my freshman 15 was like a freshman 30, and then it just started spiraling from there, I just couldn't control what I was eating, and then, um, from there, um, with the stress leading up to marriage and the emotional baggage and, um, everything that came with that, it just, it was just a disaster. But I think that, um, the disaster of not being married to the right person and, um, and being mentally prepared um, for what marriage really is, um, it really took a toll on me and my body. Um, and then to top it off, um, I, um, I conceived, um, I, I became pregnant, and um, I had my son, which was the most amazing gift that I could have gotten from the situation and I'm not knocking you know my son's father or the situation that you know that we were in because I learned tremendously about myself I learned um how much that I could arise from a situation I feel like I needed that that became a fuel for me I don't know how um I call that I call that point um the master point where I became a revolutionary woman. I'm actually going to get a tattoo of that um, soon. Um, that's going to be a gift to myself um, uh, once I um, reach a certain target goal of my weight loss. I get a tattoo like right here, revolutionary woman. I actually have a poem on that as well, which I'll I'll share um, on another uh, vlog. But um, yeah, like I became this revolutionary woman. Um, so, um, but with the weight loss, um, uh, with everything that I was going on, um, in my marriage, in, at that time when I was married, it was just taking such a toll on me. It was like, I didn't understand why I was with this person that was just treating me so bad. So I used to look in the mirror and ask myself, what is wrong with me? Is it something that's physically wrong with me? Is it something that, is it, you know, my body? Is it my looks? Um, so then um, I just got fed up. I just said to myself, you know what? If I am not happy with myself on the inside, and if I think it's something that is on the outside, why don't I work on that? So, um... I said enough is enough. I started to look up um, options. Um, what were my options? Because I know as far as um, working out and um, eating, that would be very difficult for me because I was a big time emotional eater. I mean, like um, I would be stuffing down cakes and ice cream, and sweets, and pizza, you name it, I will be engulfing it. So um, I know that 
that was a weakness for me. I was a big time emotional eater. So um, at that time, based on the situations that I was going through, um, for me to be losing weight, um, it would be difficult for me to start meal planning just, just for me. So I was looking for an option. What would be the best tool for me? So I started looking at, um, different weight, weight loss surgeries. Um, so, um, gastric bypass was an option. Um, the gastric sleeve as well. Gastric bypass, I wasn't interested in, um, due to, um, it was just, I just felt like it was just too, um, just a little bit too much for me, um, as far as, um, how invasive the surgery was. Um, I felt like I needed something, um, just, um, not as, as, as invasive. So, um, I was more interested in the sleeve option, um, and, um, I did look into the option of getting um, ins my insurance to cover it, um, and I um, was going through the process of that, but then it was just going to take too long. So um, you would have to go see a psychologist and, um, you know, it would just be round and round of interviews and this and that. I think I went to about you know, one session or so, and I was just like, you know what, um, I believe the cost... Um, here was about like what 10,000, 10 or 11,000 or so, um, or probably a bit more for the insurance to cover it out of pocket. I think I probably, I think I probably would have to pay like a little bit out of pocket. I don't, I don't really remember, but I just, I was just like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I need something now. I need to work on myself now. So, um, at that time I did have some money available. Um, so I actually started, um, because I was traveling to India and I know, um, um, if it's for, um, health, um, purposes, um, my doctor at that time was Indian. My son's doctor at that time was Indian. So, um, and I, I'm someone that I, I believe in medical tourism. So I was also looking to the option of, doing um vsg in india <laughs> yeah right uh so i researched and i found a couple of doctors in india <laughs> so um i did find a doctor and initially i was going to do my um vsg in india so um, I traveled to India and, um, my stay, which was a vacation slash surgery operation in India. Um, I kind of sort of told at that time because I, you know, I was still, I, I was still married at that time, but I didn't really, I, I had a plan. I had an escape plan. I didn't really tell him what I was going to do. I told my parents what I was going to do. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> See, the thing with me is, I'm <laughs> whenever I'm going to do something, I tell you, but I tell you in a way where you know, I tread lightly so you don't panic. Because I tend to do things that is out of the norm for my family. They... I tend to be a risk taker. To me, I'm such a risk taker because the things that I do, no one else in my family would do. So um, when I got to India, I told my mom, hey mom, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. So she started panicking like, oh my God, Yola, this, this and that. I'm like, mom, listen, I need to do this. I have to do this. I need to change my life. So then finally, She's like, Yola, just think about it because if something were to happen to you, just think about if there's an emergency, you are hours and hours away. You're not even one, two, three hours away. You are hundreds of thousands of miles away. So just keep that in mind. So 
Um, when I was in India, I traveled to the facility because I already paid the deposit. Traveled to the facility. Um, I, I traveled to Delhi. Um, it's a very clean facility. The doctor was nice. The doctor spoke English. It's not what you think it would be. Um, um, everyone was nice. I mean, it was clean. Um, the only thing that really struck me where I really put, you know, things into reality was even though, um, it, I would, it was in a hospital, um, uh, I would call it a clinic, um, a clean clinic where, you know, they, you know, they can get the procedure done, but, um, as far as if something were to happen to me, being that um, in India, my experience there was a very difficult experience. I loved India, don't get me wrong, but being one plus size in India, being, um, they considered me African-American, even though, you know, I'm Haitian, um, even though I'm, you know, Haitian American, um, but you have to understand in India, they're not used to seeing, they're not used to seeing, um, persons of color like me, even though majority of Indians are my skin, I would say are my skin color. They're not used to seeing, um, women like me with my, um, my hair texture, um, my body type, just random randomly walking around <laughs> in their country so i was getting videographed a lot i was getting my picture randomly taken it was just different um um i felt i felt like i was a celebrity most of the time um in a good way sometimes but that's just the whole nother vlog that I would have to do just on India, my experience. Um, I actually did find some clips. Um, thank God I found some old clips. Um, I'll do a whole nother vlog on my um, journey to India. Even though it was uh, two years ago, I think that it would be very cool to still share that um, with, with, with you guys. But back to my weight loss. So... Um, I tried to do VSG in India, didn't work out. Then um, when I, you know, I called my mom, I said, you know what? I'm just going to finish my trip in India, finish my vacation. Don't think this VSG thing is going to work out here in India. Um, I think you're right. If something doesn't, uh, if something were to happen to me, um, I, I'm just, it's not the right idea. So immediately when I flew back home, when I got back home from India, I looked up a second option, which another option was, um, of course, Mexico. So, um, Tijuana. So, um, my section, second option, Tijuana, um, which, um, I'll actually, um, leave their, um, I ended up going with them. Um, I'll leave their, uh, contact information, their IG and their Facebook link below. I ended up going with a slimmer me in Tijuana, Mexico, um, I about, I, once I contacted them, paid my deposit, oh, I lost my money in India, I lost my deposit, I think I lost about, I think it was a $500 deposit I left with them, I tried to get it back, but I, I couldn't, um, so when I flew back home, um, paid about, I think two weeks later, I flew back out to, um, um, San Diego and from San Diego, um, the coordinator for a slimmer me, um, picked me up, um, from my hotel in San Diego. We crossed the border to Tijuana and then, um, I had my surgery, my pre-op done, um, the first day and then the next day, um, my, uh, VSG, uh, process, um, which... I'll post another clip now, even though it was another, it was two years as well, which what a coincidence. It is my two year surge anniversary. Oh my gosh. 
guys everything happens for a reason check out this clip oh my gosh what's next Ciola? i was able to find some clips of me this is actually while i was in delhi india look at the weight difference almost a hundred pounds lost oh my gosh this was 2017 while i was in delhi india versus now oh